Hey guys, welcome. Today's video is the third installment in a series I'm doing on my favorite food and drink items around Walt Disney World. My previous videos, if you have not checked those out, I will leave them down below for you guys. I have already done my favorite snacks as well as my favorite drinks. In today's video, we are going to be talking about my favorite quick service meals at Walt Disney World. returning subscriber welcome back if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by I hope you will stick around if you want to see other great Disney content I hope you will check out the rest of my channel and consider subscribing as always if you have any questions or comments about anything in my video please leave it down below for me most of the food items on this list will be things that you can get in the Disney theme parks there's not going to be anything from Disney Springs on this list. A couple of the things on my list will be at Disney Resorts, but the majority of them are in the four main theme parks. Just like my previous videos in this series, this will be things that have been around for a while. They are still available, but our last trip to Disney was in 2016, so this will not be featuring anything that has been brought to the park since then because I haven't tried it. So this will not have anything from like Pandora or Toy Story Land or anything like that. So the food we're going to be talking about has definitely kind of been around for a while and a lot of these are things that I've gotten on multiple trips. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Coming in at number 10, we have the Spicy Fish Tacos from Sunshine Seasons in Epcot. For those of you who don't know, Sunshine Seasons is the eatery inside the Land Pavilion. And this is essentially like a blackened uh, tilapia, I believe it is, and it has some spices on it. It's not overwhelmingly spicy, but it does have a little bit of a kick. And it comes with like a cabbage slaw and I think a pepper aioli on it. My husband and I both really like this dish. We split this as kind of like a little snack, so to speak. I'll put a picture up here for you guys, but I believe it came with um, potato salad. It was so good. We got this on our last trip in 2016, so I'm excited to get this again whenever we go back. Coming in at number nine, we have various food items from El Mercado de Coronado. I believe that is the name. When we were there, it was the Pepper Market. They recently have redone it. I believe the items that we got are still available. Everything that we got from the Pepper Market honestly was so good. I would say that the food is definitely a little bit better than some of the other counter service foods that we've had at the Disney Resorts. This food was on the market. It was so good. We got food from here on our last trip on a couple different occasions. We got breakfast as well as dinner here. For dinner, we had burgers. We got two different types of burgers and the garlic parmesan wedges. Phenomenal. They were so good. I personally thought that it tasted better than some of the other burgers that you get around Disney World. It was quite, quite good. And then the breakfast items that we got, um, we got... I think three, three different things. Anyways, everything that we got was phenomenal. I would love to eat there again. Whether you're staying at Coronado Springs or just want to go check out the resort and get a little bite to eat, I definitely recommend trying out this eatery. They have a lot of different options and everything we got was just so good. Coming in at number eight, we have the nachos from La Cantina San Angel. So if you're familiar with Epcot and World Showcase, you have the Mexico Pavilion and the San Angel restaurant is actually inside the pavilion. This is across the way. So this is the counter service down by the water. It's been a while since we've had these nachos, but we've gotten them a few times and every time we've gotten them, they've been really good. It's a nice thing to either get as a meal for yourself or, you know, something to share. My husband and I normally share this as we're kind of eating around the world. If there's, you know, other things that you want to try, this is a nice thing to kind of share as a little snack. Number seven, the Onion Straw Cheddar Burger from Rosie's All-American Cafe in Hollywood Studios. Now, I don't know about you guys, but at least in all of the trips we've been there, like I said, we haven't been there since Toy Story Land has opened but I kind of feel that when it comes to counter services, Hollywood Studios is kind of lacking. We just don't seem to eat there that often. It's not that the food's bad or anything like that. It's just 
you know, we, we just don't really find much in that park that, you know, is something that we want. When we stumbled on this burger, we actually ended up getting it twice on the exact same trip. We got it in the park, and then one night we actually got it in a to-go container and brought it back to our resort. For the most part, this burger is kind of your basic burger. You have your lettuce and tomato and pickles and all of that on it, but the onion straws on it just give it a nice little flair that a lot of the, you know, quick service burgers at Walt Disney World doesn't have. So it's, you know, just a nice, nice basic burger with a little plus. Number six, the lobster roll at Columbia Harbor House in Magic Kingdom. I thought this was so good. To be honest with you guys, I have never had a lobster roll, so if you are a connoisseur of lobster rolls, I don't know how this, you know, ranks in the grand scheme of things, but I thought it was so delicious. Now, when we went, I know it was only available at lunchtime. I don't know if that's the case. If I can find out, I will let you guys know, but I believe it is still only available at lunchtime. If you are in Magic Kingdom around lunchtime and want something a little bit different than, you know, your regular park fare, I would definitely suggest checking this out. It was so nice and refreshing, so to speak. It was, you know, not a heavy fried meal like a lot of the other things that you will find. It was really, really good. Number five, the Margarita Flatbread from Pinocchio's Village House in Magic Kingdom. Again, a thing that is a little bit lighter than some of the other meals that you'll find. I love, you know, caprese and margarita pizzas, and this is just a nice solid flatbread. We've gotten this on multiple occasions. Um, a lot of times we'll get it with bread. Sometimes we've had it with bread sticks. We've had it with a garlic knot before. I don't think they have the garlic knots anymore, but they should have bread sticks. That's a nice kind of side dish to have with it. So I definitely recommend going to Pinocchio's Village House and, you know, they have other flatbreads besides that, but I would recommend the margarita one. Coming in at number four, we have the Patisserie in France at Epcot. This is a fantastic option to get a nice combination of things you know, for a relatively inexpensive price. They have both savory and sweet items, and everything I've gotten has been super good. My favorite savory items are definitely the roulette and the ham and cheese croissant. For the sweets, you really can't go wrong. Everything I've had has been so, so good. It is a fantastic option, especially, you know, if you have a family or something like that and everybody kind of wants something different. They kind of have, you know, something for everybody there. It's a great, great option. Coming in at number three, we have Be Our Guest in Magic Kingdom for lunchtime. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, Be Our Guest is kind of a wild animal, if you will, when it comes to Disney dining. For breakfast and for lunch, it is considered a quick service location, and for dinner, it is considered a table service location. So it's very different from the other... Disney restaurants in that aspect. So that is why it is on this list. We have never eaten there for dinner. We've never been able to find a reservation that works for us. We found reservations during our trip, which I know is kind of hard to do, but it never worked with what we, you know, wanted to do. So we've been there for lunch on so many different occasions. And honestly, I always get the exact same thing. It is so good. I get the turkey sandwich that comes with fries or as they call it, palm frites. And um, I always add the French onion soup. It is, it is so good. My husband pretty much gets the same thing, but he gets a different sandwich. I believe it's the roast beef sandwich he normally gets with the fries and the soup. If you have never been there before, you guys have to check it out. It seriously looks like you are walking right into the movie Beauty and the Beast. It is so on point with the decor. It's a wonderful experience. The food is good. It is a tad bit pricey, but I mean, you're paying for yummy food and a wonderful experience with the atmosphere. So you really can't go wrong. The food is so good. Definitely check that one out. Coming in at number two, we have the fish and chips from the Yorkshire County Fish Shop in Epcot. One of my favorite ways to eat fish is fried and whatever batter they put on this fish is so good. The fish is generally really flaky and moist and not dry, and it is not overly like fishy tasting. So good. The fries are great. Sorry, chips. The chips are great. The fish is great. It is amazing. 
definitely go check it out, especially if you are a fried fish fan. Coming in at number one, we have the ribs from Flame Tree Barbecue and Animal Kingdom. These are amazing. Amazing, amazing. If you have never had it and you like barbecue, you have to check this out. You owe it to yourself. It is so, so good. The ribs themselves, well, as far as like the way they're cooked and the seasoning, they're good, but there's nothing spectacular about them. I think I've had better quality ribs, but I love the Flame Tree Barbecue Sauce. And to me, when it comes to barbecue, it's all about the barbecue sauce. Some people might disagree with that, but if you have a good sauce, it's amazing. And I love their sauce. When we go there, we normally get like the dinner platter, so you'll get your ribs, and I believe it comes with coleslaw and beans, something like that. You guys, I love Flame Tree Barbecue. They used to sell the bottles of the barbecue sauce that you could buy and take home. I don't know why they stopped selling them. We bought that on several different trips. I'm so sad I can no longer purchase that. It was so great to have, you know, a little bit of Disney at home whenever we would have barbecue. We'd always use the flame tree sauce. So Disney, if you're listening, why did you stop making that? Please start making that again. I would buy an entire case. So there's a few items I definitely wanted to, you know, talk about with you guys, even though they didn't quite make the list. There's still some great options that I have had that I would definitely recommend for you guys. The bratwurst you can get from Epcot in Summerfest. That's the counter service in Germany. It's a basic brat. It has your sauerkraut, you know, mustard, all that good stuff. Nothing special, but it is a good solid brat. Another thing that, you know, is a Disney classic item to get is a turkey leg. I like the turkey leg, but to be honest with you, I have to be in the mood for it. I know some people, every single trip that they go to Disney, they have to get a turkey leg. I enjoy it, but I've only had it maybe three times in all the trips that we've been. I just, sometimes I'm not in the mood for it because it's so heavy, and especially if you're going at a hot time of year, all that sodium. I, I don't know, but definitely something you might want to check out. They seem to be going up and up in price, so I don't know if the value is as good as it used to be. It used to be, I want to say, like $9.99 or $10.99 or something like that. I know it's a lot more expensive now, but it is a lot of meat that you get on that. The Tangerine Cafe, which is the counter service in Morocco at Epcot, has some great options. They have a rather sizable menu. We've eaten here on a few occasions and had, you know, a couple different things. Our favorite items that we've gotten has been the shawarma or the sliders. They're really good. Their hummus is good. You know, I don't know if it's the best Moroccan food, but you know, it's really good. And you know, if you're getting one of the combos there, it can be a pretty good value because you tend to get, you know, quite a bit, especially if you're getting um, one of the combo platters. I think one of the best counter service options on Walt Disney World property is the Contempo Cafe at the Contemporary. We've eaten there a couple different times when we stayed at Bay Lake Tower. The food is great. None of the stuff that we actually had is there anymore, so it didn't make my top 10 list for that reason. But the food there was delicious. The atmosphere is fantastic. You can see the monorail go by. You're right next to Chef Mickey's. It's just a great atmosphere, and the food was really good. So even if you're not staying at the Contemporary, definitely, you know, check out the Contempo Cafe. The last thing I wanted to mention is Pecos Bills in Magic Kingdom. Now, personally, I liked Pecos Bills better back when, you know, it had burgers and all of that. It's more, you know, Tex-Mex, if you will, now. But the thing that I really like about this place is the toppings bar. So even though they have switched over to Tex-Mex, it's still really good. We ate there on our last trip, and you still have a toppings bar. You have all kinds of great stuff to put on your items. We got burritos. I don't know if they still have the burritos, but either way, all of the stuff that you can get there, you can use the toppings bar and kind of customize it, which I absolutely love. So there you go, guys. There's my list, my, you know, favorite quick service items to get and some recommendations for you guys. Did you agree with my list? Let me know down below if you have any recommendations for me. I definitely know I fall into patterns and, you know, 
try to get the same things over and over that I really like. Then I try to get something new. So if you have any recommendations for me, please let me know. I would love to be able to try, you know, something new on our next vacation. If you liked this video, please hit subscribe and click that bell notification button so that YouTube will notify you each time that I put out a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.